Help support AMTV by becoming a patron, an AMTV staff member, and following us over on Twitter. Hi there guys, it's Adam Martin here, and welcome back to this very special video for today. I'm going to be taking you through my vinyl collection. Now, some of you may know that I'm a huge fan of vinyl. I love collecting the stuff. I'm a big fan of music generally across a wide variety of decades and genres. And I'd say I've been collecting vinyl probably for about 10 years now, ever since I became an adult, went to university, essentially had a bit more disposable income. And I know you've probably heard people preach about vinyl and how great it is, but honestly, there is just so many benefits to having vinyl. And I'm not just talking about the sound of the music itself, just the the sense of ownership you get, especially when we're living in a time where we increasingly don't own the things we buy, to have a vinyl record feels quite special. So I wanted to take you through my collection. I did do a video series like this about five years ago, I think it was around 2019 I did this, but I wanted to present an updated version, give you a state on my collection now. A little disclaimer, it'll be everything on my main vinyl shelves that is mainly confined to full LPs, albums, or there's some EPs in there as well, uh, compilations, live albums, remix albums, etc. Generally discs that are of a 12 inch size. The only exception that you won't see here today are my collection of 12 inch singles. Now there's not as many of them as compared to what's on the shelf here and obviously I've got some 7 inch singles as well but I wanted to mainly focus on this shelf. This is my core vinyl shelf. This is where I come to to pull an LP out from the shelf and spin on the turntable. Another disclaimer as well is that I won't be speaking about every album individually. We'll go through each of them, but some of them I might give pause to give my thoughts on it or give my opinion on it or if it's particularly special to me. We won't do that with every album, otherwise <laughs> we'd be here for hours and hours. So without further ado, sit back, relax and enjoy a look at my vinyl collection. Various artists, 90s dance classics, the 1975, the 1975. The 1975, I like it when you sleep, for you are so beautiful, yet so unaware of it. The 1975, a brief inquiry into online relationships. The 1975, notes on a conditional form. The 1975, being funny in a foreign language. Aha, hunting high and low. One of the best 80s pop albums, definitely so many big tunes on there. Aha, scoundrel days. Aha, Stay on these roads. Aha, uh -huh. east of the sun, west of the moon. Aha, uh -huh. headlines and deadlines, the hits of Aha. Uh -huh. Bjorn, Benny, Agneta and Frida, ring ring. Abba, Waterloo. Abba, Abba. Abba, Arrival. Abba, The Album. Abba, Voulez Vu. Abba, Super Trooper. Abba, The Visitors. A really underrated album from ABBA, this was their last one for decades obviously, it's a much more of a darker tone but definitely worth listening to. ABBA, Voyage, ABBA, The Singles, The First Ten Years, ABBA, Gold, ABBA, Live at Wembley Arena, ABC, The Lexicon of Love, Adamski, Dr. Adamski's Musical Pharmacy, Adele, 21, Age of Chance, Mecca. This one was an oddity. I found this in a charity shop and I literally had no idea about the artist, the album, anything. But after listening to it, this one is was surprised me. This is a really solid album, one I definitely recommend that you check out. Akon, Convicted. Alcazar, Casino. This is a fun one. This is obviously from the very early 2000s, very much Europe pop, and I just, I love this one, you know. These guys are so corny, but you gotta love them for it. And this was a limited print as well, only a couple thousand copies. Alcazar, Alcazarized. This was limited print too, and again, this just screams like early 2000s, doesn't it? Alexander O'Neill, Hearsay. Alexandra Burke, Overcome. This one was so much fun to find. I didn't even know they printed this on vinyl, but they did a couple years back. And I remember buying this album when it came out back in 2009. You know, a lot of us were swept up in the X Factor at the time. So I think it's genuinely a really strong album as well. So to have it on vinyl is really cool. Various artists, American Graffiti, the official soundtrack. Amy Winehouse, Back to Black. Anne-Marie, Therapy. Anne-Marie, Unhealthy. This one, I believe, is an exclusive cover. You could only get this by ordering from her website directly. Annie Lennox, Diva. 
one of my favorite and most loved albums of all time. My parents had this on CD. We listened to this endlessly in the house, in the car. It's just honestly, as I said, one of the greatest albums ever made, I think. So big up Annie Lennox, Annie Lennox, Medusa, Annie Lennox, a Christmas cornucopia, Aqua, Aquarium. Desperately hoping the uh, follow-up album gets a wider vinyl release too. Auntie Jack, Auntie Jack sings Wollongong. Some of you might know all about Auntie Jack. If you don't, you can check out the video I made on her and indeed the move to colour television in Australia. Ava Max, Heaven and Hell. Ava Max, Diamonds and Dance Floors. Bananarama, wow. Bananarama, the greatest hits collection. Bangles, different light. Various artists, Barbie, the album. Barbara Streisand, guilty. Bastille, bad blood. Arguably, what a really strong debut album and example for one of the best debut albums probably produced in the last, like, 10-15 years. The BBC, 1922 to 1972. This is a neat compilation of loads of, like, key moments from the BBC's first 50 years of history, so, like, a lot of radio excerpts or stuff from the telly. Really neat little album. The BBC, the world of BBC TV themes. This is a different vein. This was released towards the end of the 80s, so a lot of the themes you hear on here are from, like, the last half of the 1980s, but, you know, really cool release too. The Beach Boys, 20 Golden Greats. The Beatles, Please Please Me. The Beatles, With the Beatles. The Beatles, A Hard Day's Night. The Beatles, Beatles for Sale. The Beatles, Help. The Beatles, Rubber Soul. The Beatles, Revolver. The Beatles, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. This is my dad's original copy from back in the day. Still has all the inserts and everything like that, so very, uh, very proud to own this. The Beatles, Abbey Road. Yes, Beatles fans, I know what you're probably thinking. He doesn't own the White Album, and yeah, I don't. It's one that I've come across many times on my vinyl hunting days, and I often think it's too expensive or it's not in good condition. I know they have done a repress, which I've actually considered to cave in and get, but it retails pretty much everywhere at £60, and that's just a lot, man. So for now, the White Album is the only Beatles uh, main studio album that I have yet to have on vinyl. The Beatles, let it be. The Beatles, Let It Be Naked. This is probably one of the rarer items in the collection. My grandmother found this in a charity shop that she worked at for one pound. And if you look at what it's worth, well, going off Discogs and other sources like that, it seems to be worth a bit more than that. The Beatles, a collection of Beatles oldies. The Beatles, ballads. Becky Hill, only honest on the weekend. She's like the queen of dance over the last decade, but Becky Hill's debut album is so, so good. Really looking forward to her second one that's coming out at the end of May this year, 2024. Hopefully that one will be full of bangers too. Bee Gees first. Big Bee Gees fans, so be prepared now to see a lot of them coming up. Bee Gees horizontal. Bee Gees idea. Bee Gees Odessa. Presented in this really cool box, though with a gold lettering, very nice. Bee Gees' Cucumber Castle. This is the album where it was mainly just Barry and Morris. It was the time when they briefly broke up. Robin still is here, I think, either as a songwriting credit or something they recorded before the split, but this is the one that's mainly just Barry and Morris. Bee Gees' Two Years On. Bee Gees' Trafalgar. Bee Gees' To Whom It May Concern. Bee Gees' Life in a Tin Can. Bee Gees' Mr. Natural. Bee Gees' Main Course. Of course, seen as like their big breakthrough back into the mainstream, back into popularity with songs like Jive Talking and Nights on Broadway. Bee Gees, Children of the World. Bee Gees, Spirits Having Flown. This one's the big boy, you know, big hit post Saturday Night Fever. So you've got stuff like Tragedy, Too Much Heaven, Love You Inside Out, massive tunes. Bee Gees, Living Eyes. This one oddly flopped 81. Maybe people were just a bit tired of the the BG style or sound, but it is very different from Spirits Having Flown and indeed very different from Saturday Night Fever. It's a much more somber album, I think. Again, very much in the style of ABBA's album of that same year. Definitely worth listening to. Bee Gees ESP. The comeback album, very strong release indeed. Bee Gees 1. Another strong release too. Some say arguably better than ESP, but yeah, really glad to have this. Bee Gees High Civilization. This isn't one of my favourites of theirs, first of the 90s. I wish 
honestly, that they do a re-release of Sizes and Everything, the album that followed this, because that, in my humble opinion, is a great contender for one of the most underrated and greatest pop albums of our time. Oh, re-release Still Waters, and this is where I came in as well. That'd be great. Bee Gees, Here at Last, Live. Belinda Carlisle, Heaven on Earth. Benny King, Stand By Me, The Ultimate Collection. Beyonce, Beyonce. I got this back in 2014 from Urban Outfitters. I just moved to Liverpool for my university days, and this was pretty much the first vinyl I bought there. And this seems to go for a bit of money now, so if you can find a copy with the booklet and the all the extras inside it, it's worth grabbing. Beyonce, Lemonade. Beyonce, Renaissance, Act 1. Bill Withers, Greatest Hits. Billy Joel, 52nd Street. Billy Joel, An Innocent Man. Billy Ocean, Love Zone. Really big fan of this album. Great tracks on there. The title track, Love Zone, is such a bop. Really recommend this album. Billy Paul, 360 Degrees of Billy Paul. This one was a surprise to me because we all know uh, me and Mrs. Jones, but Billy Paul is literally so soulful, and this record exemplifies that, so definitely recommend. Black, Wonderful Life. Black Box, Dreamland. One of the breakthrough dance acts of the late 80s, early 90s. Yes, there's all the controversy about the vocalists and stuff, but really solid album. The Black Eyed Peas, Elefunk. The Black Eyed Peas, Monkey Business. The Black Eyed Peas, The Beginning. I know some of you might be thinking, why has he got the beginning and not the end? For some reason, the end's really hard to track down now on vinyl for a decent price. I do remember seeing it in HMV over the last few years and not picking it up for whatever reason. So that is the glaring hole because that album, when that came out in 2009, that's one I listened to a lot and one I'd love on the vinyl shelf. Bob Dylan, Greatest Hits. Blondie, Parallel Lines. Blondie, Eat to the Beat. Blondie, Auto-American. Various Artists, the Bodyguard, the original soundtrack album. This is a perfect example where I wanted like an original copy from 1992, but I eventually caved in and got this release, which was reissued for the 30th anniversary. Bon Jovi, Slippery When Wet. John Barry and Various Artists, Goldfinger, the original soundtrack. John Barry and Various Artists, On Her Majesty's Secret Service, the original soundtrack. John Barry and Various Artists, The Man with the Golden Gun, the original soundtrack. Really underrated this film as well, I think. It's one of my favourites, especially of Roger Moore's. Bill Conti and Various Artists, For Your Eyes Only, the original film soundtrack. Contender for the best, like, classic Bond soundtrack in my eyes? Quite possibly, which I know is sacrilege as it's not done by John Barry who did the majority. John Barry and Various Artists, The Living Daylights, the original soundtrack. Various Artists, Licensed to Kill, the original soundtrack. Various Artists, The Best of Bond, James Bond. An awesome compilation of all the Bond theme songs, so if you want one package for that, this is the one to get. Boney M, Night Flight to Venus. Boney M, The Magic of Boney M. Bonnie Tyler, Secret Dreams and Forbidden Fire. This album is so strong. I, this one genuinely surprised me. I picked this up in a charity shop for like £2 years ago, and the quality of the songs on here genuinely blew me away. So big up to Bonnie Tyler. Definitely listen to this. Bonnie Tyler, Hide Your Heart. Boy Genius, The Record. Really cool album. I hadn't heard much about Boy Genius, but I understand there's it's pretty much a powerhouse of these three artists, and this is a really, really strong album, so give it a listen. Boy Meets Girl, Real Life. Britney Spears, Baby One More Time. Britney Spears, Oops, I Did It Again. Britney Spears, Britney. This is the one Britney album I held out on ages for vinyl. When they started reissuing these, I would get them pretty promptly, but... Britney I held off on, and it's because it's an album I don't remember listening to much back then. I didn't really click onto it, and even now it's not her best work, but I found it in a sale for cheap, and yeah, I thought, well, may as well finish it off. Britney Spears, In The Zone. Britney Spears, Blackout. Britney Spears, Circus. Britney Spears, Femme Fatale. Britney Spears, Britney Jean. You might be wondering why I don't have a 2016 album, Glory. Again, similar to Britney, it wasn't an album I really took to, apart from some of the lead singles. So, yeah, I'm only going to get it like with Britney if I find it for a really cheap price. Bronsky Beat, The Age of Consent. Bros, Push. Bros, The Time. Bruno Mars, Do Wops and Hooligans. This was one I listened to a lot back in the day when it came out. So glad it got a vinyl reissue. Bruno Mars, Unorthodox Jukebox. Bruno Mars, 
24 karat magic. Books fizz, books fizz. Books fizz, are you ready? Books fizz, hand cut. Books fizz, I hear talk. I enjoy Books Fizz's work more as it goes on. I, honestly, I really gel with what they were doing. I just don't have the... I can't remember what it's called, but their album they put out in 1986. Uh, need to get that one. Books Fizz, Greatest Hits. Various Artists, Buster, the original motion picture soundtrack. Genuinely one of my favourite film soundtracks. Not only are there great songs on here, but the, the score that's included is top-notch too. Calvin Harris, I Created Disco. Calvin Harris, Ready for the Weekend. Calvin Harris, 12 months. This album, man, is big. You know, they literally stacked top, top to bottom with hits and a perfect picture of, like, what pop dance music was like in the early 2010s. Great album. Cameo, Word Up. Carl Douglas, Kung Fu Fighter. This one surprised me because, yes, we all think Kung Fu Fighting, it's on the cover, it's practically the name of the album, but the other songs on here are great, literally fantastic, and as the label implies, I found this for a pound. So don't sleep on this album, don't sleep on Carl Douglas, go and give it a listen. Carol King, Tapestry. The Carpenters, The Singles, 1969-73. to The Carpenters, The Singles, 1974-78. to Chase and Status, No More Idols. This is one of the most important albums in my life. I listened to this so much when I was like 15, 16. It really spoke to me at the time. A lot of big bangers on there, even the ones that didn't become hits. I was thrilled when they put this out for Record Store Day in 2019. So I woke up really early, traipsed down to my local record shop and managed to bag myself a copy. I think they did a general re-release of it a bit later, I'm not sure. But back in 2019, this was the main way to get No More Idols on vinyl. I'm so glad they put it out on the format to begin with, and I couldn't recommend it enough. Um, incredible work. Childish Gambino, Camp. Childish Gambino, Awaken My Love. Chris Evans Ironside, Multiple Image. This is an album of themes that were composed in the mid to late 80s, and a bunch of it found its way onto the engineering announcements, you know, before and after those played. You can hear some of it, in fact, in the video I did last year. But yeah, really cool album, really happy to own that. The Christians, The Christians. Cigarettes After Sex, Cigarettes After Sex. This is a group I'm only just getting to listen to, really like their stuff on the debut album. I've listened through to their second album, Cry, on streaming services, and I'm probably going to grab that on vinyl sometime soon as well. And it makes me very excited for their upcoming album this year in 2024, X's. Claudia Kate, a damn good place to start. Claudia supported an artist called Ellie Dixon at a concert I saw last October. She's really rather good, and her songwriting is great as well. Very heartfelt, emotional stuff. She was selling vinyls at the event. I'm not sure if she has, like, a website where you can go and buy them, but she should be on the streaming things, you know, like Spotify, etc. So go and give her a listen. We need to support our upcoming artists, so give her a listen. Support her as best you can. Coldplay, A Rush of Blood to the Head. Coldplay, Milo Zilotto. Coldplay, Music of the Spheres. This uh, very quickly became one of my favorite albums of the 2020s. It's just a really great package, generally. A lot of people didn't like this one, but I think there's so much merit to it, so maybe give it a re-listen, see if your thoughts change. The Commodores, Greatest Hits. Various Artists, Country's Greatest Hits. Craig David, Following My Intuition. Craig David, Rewind, The Collection. The Cranberries, Stars, The Best of 1992 to 2002. There is another compilation called Dreams, and that has, like, half the track list, and, like, all of the track lists you can find on Dreams are on here, bar one. And in HMV, these are both under the same deal, the 3 for 55, so I don't know why you'd get that other one over this one, but, hey, each to their own. Credence Clearwater Revival, Bad Moon Rising, The Collection. Cindy Lauper, She's So Unusual. Daft Punk, Human After All. I do love Daft Punk, and I am planning to get more of their albums on vinyl before any of you scream at me. You know, where's homework? Where's discovery? Where's random access memories? Hopefully in the future. Deo Freya with I Made an Album. Dave, we're all alone in this together. David Guetta, One Love. David Guetta, Nothing But The Beat. This was another defining album for me in my teens. Just, I know it's like mainstream stuff, but again, similar to 12 Months by Calvin Harris, this was just stacked from head to toe with great beats. Uh, really happy to own it on vinyl too. Dead or Alive, Youthquake. Def Leppard, Hysteria. Various Artists, Diner, the original motion picture soundtrack. Various Artists, Dirty Dancing, the original motion picture soundtrack. DJ Khaled, with Grateful. 
Donna Summer, Bad Girls. Donna Summer, Another Place and Time. This was a right bargain, 50 pence for a Stock Aitken Waterman produced album for Donna Summer, but what a wonderful album it is. Dr. Alban, One Love, the album. This has the track It's My Life and is quite hard to find on vinyl. It, it, was, it wasn't the cheapest. I mean, it wasn't crazy expensive. I was just happy to find a copy in the wild in general. Dr. Dre, 2001. Just a note on this album, there is a release of this that is censored in the sense that like a lot of the swears are censored and stuff like that, even though it has the parental advisory sticker. I believe there is an uncensored version. I don't know how common that is, but I didn't know I was buying the censored version well until I bought it. Various Artists, the Doctor Who 25th Anniversary Album. Dream with Dream On, Volume 1. Various Artists, Dream Melodies. Dua Lipa, Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa, Future Nostalgia. One of the best pop albums of 2020, of course. This now links to me with the pandemic because it came out just as that was ramping up, but a super strong album. Really hope she can knock it out of the park again with a new album that's coming out, Radical Optimism. Duran Duran, Rio. Dusty Springfield, Dusty in Memphis. Dusty Springfield, Reputation. Dusty Springfield, Star Dusty. As you can probably tell, I'm a big fan of Dusty Springfield, and this compilation is just the top for me. There are other compilations out there that have more tracks or whatever, but this one, just the, the selection here is honestly top notch for me. East 17, Steam. Ed Sheeran, Plus. Ed Sheeran, Multiply. Ed Sheeran, Divide. Ed Sheeran, Number 6 Collaborations Project. Ed Sheeran, Equals. Ed Sheeran, Subtract. I don't have autumn variations yet. I did give it a listen when it came out on the streaming sites and I just wasn't really taken by it. I found a lot of it to be a bit one note, a bit samey for me, but who knows? Maybe if it becomes a bit cheaper, I find it cheaper, I might grab it. But yeah, it didn't It didn't quite speak to me like the others. Eighth Wonder, with Fearless. Electric Light Orchestra, with Out of the Blue. Elkie Brooks, Pearls. Ellie Golding, Lights 10. This was another record stay purchase, although not on the day itself. I had to get this online uh, after the fact, but it was around the retail price. This album I had on CD when it came out back in, when would that have been, 2010? A strong debut from Ellie Goulding, a lot of big hits on there. I think not, not much from her catalogue has topped it since, and the fact that it got reissued on vinyl for Record Store Day was really special, and I was glad that I could get a copy. Elton John, Elton John. Elton John, Madman Across the Water. Elton John, Honky Chateau. Elton John, Don't Shoot Me, I'm Only the Piano Player. Elton John, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. Elton John, Caribou. Elton John, Blue Moves. Elton John, The Fox. Elton John, Too Low for Zero. Elton John, Red Strikes Back. This album I think is quite underrated. I know a lot of people don't rate Elton's albums that came out in the 80s or, or many of them they don't rate, but I think this one deserves a little re-look at. You know, give it a re-listen. I think there's a lot of really good material on there. Elton John, Sleeping With The Past. Elton John, The One. Now, I found this for a few quid. I know this is one of my mum's favourite albums from Elton. And I did, in fact, used to own pretty much nearly all, if not all, of the Elton John studio albums, certainly from the beginning up until this point. I did clear out a few of them recently just because, like I said, some of the 80s stuff I didn't rate very highly, the late 70s stuff, like the disco-y stuff he tried. But, you know, the one is a pretty solid release. Emily Sande, Real Life. Eminem, the Slim Shady LP. Eminem, the Marshall Mathers LP. Such a groundbreaking album, both for me and the millions who listened to it. Arguably one of, if not his best works, and would swap that out with some others, but it's up there. Eminem, The Eminem Show. This is some, again, people consider to be M's best work, and I can see why. Eminem, Encore. This album I don't think is as bad as everyone makes it out to be. I think it has a lot of merit to it. Yes, it's very wacky, it's very daft in places and some of the stuff is outright bad but i don't think it's the train wreck people make it out to be eminem recovery i really rate recovery uh i know a lot of people don't i did used to have relapse as well but i traded that one out just because i didn't really re-listen to it like a lot of people relapse didn't really click with me recovery however really did eminem the marshall mathers lp2 eminem kamikaze I really loved Kamikaze when it dropped. I did have Revival, which of course this album was basically answering why people didn't like Revival. And sad to say, I'm not really a big fan of Revival. There are stuff on it I like certain tracks, but it's not in that same echelon, I think, as M's other work. 
Eminem, Music To Be Murdered By. Really fun album. I do need to get Side B, which has like the extra LP with all the bonus tracks. Eminem, Curtain Call, The Hits. Eminem, Curtain Call 2. Enigma, MCMXCAD. Enigma, The Cross of Changes. I did want to get this on vinyl like in its original form from the 90s, but seeing how much that was going for, the reprint became the logical option. Enya, 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 Watermark. One of the best albums of the 80s, maybe one of the best albums ever. Just love it, man. Big up Enya. Enya, Shepherd Moons. Enya, The Memory of Trees. Enya, A Day Without Rain. Enya, Amarantine. I would like to get her other albums, or And Winter Came and then Dark Sky Island. They seem to be harder to track down on vinyl, but I'd like to get them eventually. Erasure, The Circus. Erasure, The Innocence. Erasure, Wild. Erasure, Chorus. You might be wondering where's Wonderland, their debut. I did have it, but I swapped it out just because I thought it was a pretty lacklustre debut, if I'm being totally honest. Europe, The Final Countdown. Various Artists, Eurovision Song Contest 2022. Various Artists, Eurovision Song Contest 2023. For me, and it's not just because I spent a day in Liverpool when, when Eurovision was on, but this is a contender for probably one of the best song selections ever for the contest. Eurythmics, Sweet Dreams Are Made Of This. Eurythmics, Touch. Eurythmics, Be Yourself Tonight. Eurythmics, Revenge. Eurythmics, Savage. Eurythmics, Peace. I used to have their debut and the We Two Are One album, but like others, I went through recently and traded them out just because I wasn't really clicking with them. Evanescence, Fallen. Example, We May Grow Up But We Never Grow Old. Really great album from this artist. I wish, wish, wish they would put his back catalogue out on vinyl. Things like, you know, Won't Go Quietly and Playing In The Shadows and all of those albums. Like, that would be immense. I hope it gets done. Falco, Falco 3. Fallout Boy, American Beauty, American Psycho. Leopold Strakowski with the Philadelphia Orchestra. Walt Disney's Fantasia. Fatboy Slim, The Best Of. Fergie, The Duchess. This was a really cool find, uh, a reprint. Not the not the cheapest reprint, but again, back in 2006, man, this was this was a big album, and to have it on vinyl, no less, is great. Five Star, Silk and Steel, Various Artists, Flashdance, the original soundtrack, A Flock of Seagulls, A Flock of Seagulls, Fleetwood Mac, Rumors, Fleetwood Mac, Tango in the Night, Flight of the Concords, Flight of the Concords. Great comedy duo, one, a really funny album, really great. Flight of the Concords, I Told You I Was Freaky. Great follow-up to the debut, Flight of the Concords, Live in London. And an amazing live performance as well, highly recommend this if you're a fan of their work. Florence and the Machine, Lungs. The Flying Pickets, Lost Boys. Various Artists, Footloose, the original soundtrack. Frank Sinatra, Strangers in the Night. Frank Sinatra, That's Life. Frank Sinatra, My Way, Frank Sinatra, LA is My Lady, Frank Sinatra, The Sinatra Touch, Frank Sinatra, The Platinum Collection, Frankie Goes to Hollywood, Welcome to the Pleasure Dome, Freddie Mercury, Mr. Bad Guy, Frida, Something's Going On, Various Artists, Frozen 2, The Original Songs, Pete Winslow and the King's Size Brass, Girl on the Test Card. This is a really fun little album just to give you a flavour of the kind of music that was played when the test card used to show back in the 70s. Girls Aloud, What Will The Neighbours Say? Big Girls Aloud fan was when I was growing up, and it's nice to see that their catalogue is being re-released now on vinyl. I didn't pick up the first album just because I think this is the superior one. Gloria Estefan and Miami Sound Machine, Anything For You. Go West, Go West. Various Artists, A Goofy Movie, the original soundtrack. Various Artists, Grease, the original soundtrack. Grieg, the Peer Gint Suite. Gwen Guthrie, with Good To Go Lover. Harry Styles, Harry Styles. Harry Styles, Fine Line. Harry Styles, Harry's House. Hazel Dean, Heart First. Hazel Dean, Always. Hot Chocolate, The Very Best Of. Howard Jones, Human's Lib. Jackson 5, Third Album. Jackson 5, Looking Through the Windows. Jackson 5, Get It Together. Jackson 5, Dancing Machine. Some of you might be wondering where's the rest of the Jackson 5 stuff as I used to have all of their main albums. But again, you know, as time goes on, tastes change. And I just think some of the albums I've got now, the ones I've kept are the superior ones compared to uh, some of the earlier stuff. The Jacksons, 
destiny. The Jacksons, triumph. The Jacksons, victory. The Jacksons, 2300 Jackson Street. What I said about the Jackson 5 material also goes with the Jacksons. I have kept more of their stuff. It's only really, I think, the first two albums they did with CBS that I've traded off. But they, you know, they definitely matured and got better with time. The Jacksons, live. Jalen and Gonda, come around and love me. Big shout out to Jalen. Uh, I went to Lipper with him. We were at university together. He uh, studied music. I studied acting. And he's a really genuinely lovely guy. And to see him get the... Uh, like the praise and the props he deserves for his music because it's really beautiful, really soulful music. So I can only, you know, support my fellow creative and just give him a big shout out. Big up Jalen. James Ingram, It's Your Night. Janet Jackson, Control. One of my favorite 80s pop albums, obviously the breakthrough one for Janet. I think I actually prefer this to Rhythm Nation as well. I know I'm in the minority to that, but it's just so good. Janet Jackson, Rhythm Nation 1814. Janet Jackson, Janet. Jason Donovan, 10 Good Reasons. Jean-Michel Jarre, Oxygen. Jennifer Rush, Jennifer Rush. Jennifer Rush, Moving. Jennifer Rush, Heart Over Mind. Jennifer Rush, Passion. Jennifer Rush, Wings of Desire. Jermaine Jackson, Let's Get Serious. Jermaine Jackson, Dynamite. Jermaine Jackson, You Said. Likewise with some of the other Jackson siblings, I used to have, I think, all of Jermaine's main studio albums, but... A lot of his, I'm going to be honest, for me personally, a lot of it is just filler or it sounds like filler. The ones I've kept, I think, are really the ones that stand out amongst the bunch. Jermaine Stewart, The Word Is Out. Jermaine Stewart, Frantic Romantic. Jermaine Stewart, Say It Again. Of course, we did a sort of mini documentary on Jermaine Stewart several years ago now, but if you haven't seen that, maybe go and check it out. Jesse Ware, That Feels Good. This album was a gift from my lovely partner, Rebecca, so thank you very much for this one, my love. Jive Bunny and the Master Mixers, the album. John Lennon, Imagine. John Parr, St. Elmo's Fire. Johnny Hates Jazz, Turn Back the Clock. John and Vangelis, the friends of Mr. Cairo. Jungle, Volcano. This was another gift from Rebecca, Last Christmas Just Gone, and it's a really fun album. Love the retro infusions in here, and it makes me want to listen to more of Jungle's back catalogue. Justin Bieber, Purpose. Probably the best album he's ever made. Justin Bieber, Changes. Justin Bieber, Justice. Justin Timberlake, Justified. Justin Timberlake, Future Sex, Love Sounds. Justin Timberlake, The 2020 Experience. This was a beefy box set, but I really enjoyed this album. His new album, I've heard it, the one that's come out this year, it's, it's okay, but it just feels, I don't know, doesn't feel as substantial as some of this earlier stuff. Kate Bush, the Kick Inside, Kate Bush, Hounds of Love. When Running Up That Hill Exploded Due to Stranger Things, you couldn't find this album anywhere, or at least not for a decent price. Kate Bush, The Whole Story. Katy Perry, One of the Boys. Katy Perry, Teenage Dream. Katy Perry, Prism. Katy Perry, Witness. Katy Perry, Smile. Maybe my favorite Katy album. I think this is her most mature and it's just, it's a wonderful album. Love Katy Perry's music, unashamedly pop, and I'm all for that. Kanye West, The College Dropout. Kanye West, Late Registration. Kanye West, 808s and Heartbreak. They do need to put Graduation back out on vinyl, man. Kanye West, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. Not the goated masterpiece a lot of people seem to think it is, at least in my view. Kanye West, Yeezus. This is probably my favorite uh, album of his, or one of them, which surprises a lot of people. This is also a bootleg, by the way. There was never an official vinyl release, so this is a bootleg. Kanye West, The Life of Pablo. This one's also a bootleg, too, because, of course, at first it was only available on Tidal. It's on other streaming stuff now, but, yeah, bootleg vinyl. Kanye West, Jesus is King. This one surprised me. A gospel album. I'm not religious myself. I didn't think this was going to be up my street at all, but... Uh, for all the calls of it being unfinished or whatever, I really, really enjoy this record. Kanye West, Donda, Kids See Ghosts, Kids See Ghosts. Keen, Hopes and Fears, Kendrick Lamar, To Pimp a Butterfly. Kendrick Lamar, Damn. Kendrick Lamar, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. Now you'll notice there's an obvious album missing here, Good Kid, Mad City from 2012, and I am planning on getting it at some point. I have seen it, it's on my list, but yeah, I need to pick that one up. Kenny G, Duotones. Kesha, Animal. 
I'm so glad this got a vinyl release because again, during my teenage years, and again, I'm unashamedly a pop fan. This was one of the cornerstone albums, certainly. So to have it on vinyl is wonderful. Kesha, Cannibal. So glad that this got a release on vinyl as well because I didn't think it would. Kesha, Gag Order. Obviously, Kesha's been through a lot in terms of like legal stuff with her old producers and stuff like that. And this album is very raw and I respect her a lot for it. It's very strong. The Killers, Hot Fuss. Kim Wilde, Close. Kim Wilde, Here Come the Aliens. The KLF, The White Room. I was so happy to find this. I thought I'd never find a copy of this because, you know, obviously the KLF are quite revered and I thought I'm never going to find a copy of this for a decent price. I did actually at a recent record fair. It was, you know, it wasn't cheap. It wasn't single figures, but it was it was a price I was willing to pay. So very happy to finally own this on vinyl because it has some great tunes on it. KSI, Dissimulation Deluxe. Yeah, KSI, man. I, I quite like Dissimulation for the most part. Yes, a lot of people say his second album is better. I think even he thinks that himself, but I don't know. I've got a I've got a soft spot for dissimulation, I think. I know I reviewed it pretty mixed at the time, which some people bash me for. Kylie Minogue, Kylie. Kylie Minogue, Enjoy Yourself. Kylie Minogue, Rhythm of Love. Kylie Minogue, Kylie Minogue. Kylie Minogue, Fever. Kylie Minogue, Body Language. Kylie Minogue, A Kylie Christmas. Kylie Minogue, Golden. Kylie Minogue, Disco. Kylie Minogue Disco Guest List Edition. Kylie Minogue Disco Extended Mixes. Kylie Minogue Infinite Disco. Kylie Minogue Tension. Unashamedly a big Kylie fan, as you can probably tell. Some of her albums still need to be reissued on final, I think, or on a more wide uh, scale release so that they can pick them up. I have passed on a few, though. Impossible Princess didn't really click with me. Light Years at the minute is super hard to find because it was such a limited release, so that needs reissuing. Lady Gaga, The Fame. Oh, a big fan of Lady Gaga, but again, why I, I need a re-release of the Fame Monster. Again, that was a cornerstone album for me, and it's just, it's so hard to track down on vinyl. So please, whoever's got the licenses to it, please re-release the Fame Monster, I'm begging you. Lady Gaga, Born This Way. Lady Gaga, Art Pop. Lady Gaga, Chromatica. Leona Lewis, Spirit. This one was really cool. Loved uh, that first album from Leona Lewis, and obviously only recently made on vinyl. Uh, part of one of HMV's promotions and I'm glad it is because it's a really strong album for that time period I just I mean the chances of a second album Echoes being released this way is probably close to nil But I really hope it is one day because I love that album as well Leo Sayer the very best of Les Miserables the musical sensation Broadway album Lionel Richie Lionel Richie Lionel Richie can't slow down Arguably one of my favorite albums ever this just the, the sequencing, everything, all tracks on this album are great. No wonder it won Album of the Year at the Grammys at the time, but big recommend to listen to. Lionel Richie, Dancing on the Ceiling. Lisa Stansfield, Affection. Little Mix, Glory Days. This is their, was this their, this was their fourth album, wasn't it? I mean, the first three definitely need issuing on vinyl. That hasn't happened yet. Little Mix, LM5. This might be my favorite of their studio albums in just terms of like the quality. Little Mix, Confetti. Little Mix, Between Us. For all I said about the early albums not being issued on vinyl, this though is a great way to get a lot of those early big hits, those early singles on vinyl format. Living in a Box, Living in a Box. Liza Minnelli, Results. Great album, obviously co-produced by the Pet Shop Boys to some extent, and it's that's not the only reason why it's great, but this is really solid, so give this a listen. London Beat, In the Blood. London Boys, The Twelve Commandments of Dance. The London Boys. I, I mean, I did a whole documentary on these guys. Highly recommend you check that out. It's such a, such a tragic story with them. London Grammar, Californian Soul. Lorena McKennett, The Best Of. Lord, Pure Heroine. Lord, Melodrama. Lowly, Keep Up The Good Work. This is a band that isn't like mainstream, and I think I could be wrong. Are they Danish? But they're, they're a very up and coming band. And I only heard this album or some of the tracks because it was being played in a music shop. And I was like, what is this? And they told me, and I just knew I had to get it because I immediately vibed with the sound. They're called Lowly, and I go stream their stuff. It's great. Love this. M83, Junk. M83, Fantasy. Mabel, High Expectations. Madonna, Like a Virgin. Madonna, True Blue. Madonna, Like a Prayer. Madonna, Confessions on a Dance Floor. Madonna, Celebration. I'm eternally happy they put this out on vinyl. 
uh, just because obviously this collates so many, if not nearly all of Madonna's mega, mega hits. There's still one or two omissions, but I think for me, this is one of, if not her definitive compilation, even over the Immaculate Collection. May Muller, sorry I'm late. Say what you want about Mae Muller, how she performed at Eurovision, etc. This is a strong debut, and it surprised me because I did not expect this debut album to be so strong from her. A lot of the tracks are great. Again, please go and listen to it. Various Artists, Mafia 3, the original game score. Malcolm McLaren, Duck Soup. Malcolm McLaren, Fans. Martika, Martika. Marvin Gaye, The Best Of. MC Tunes, The North At Its Heights. Melon Kim, FLM. Michael Bolton, Soul Provider. Michael Jackson, Got To Be There. Michael Jackson, Ben. Michael Jackson, Music and Me. Michael Jackson, Forever Michael. Michael Jackson, Off The Wall. Michael Jackson, Thriller. Michael Jackson, Bad. Michael Jackson, Dangerous. Michael Jackson, Blood On The Dance Floor, History In The Mix. I don't have history because the original box set format released back in 95 is very expensive. I know they've done a picture disc re-release of this in the last like 10-15 years, but I, t I try and stay away from picture discs where possible. I, ju I just want the box, man, but it's so expensive. Michael Jackson, Invincible. Michael Jackson, Escape. Michael Jackson, The Michael Jackson Mix. This is just like a really cool running mega mix of Michael Jackson hits, although this is mainly the Motown era stuff because I think that's all they could get the license for. Mike and the Mechanics, Living Years. Tangerine Dream, Miracle Mile, the original soundtrack. Moby, Play. Various Artists, Moods. This is one of my favorite compilations ever. It seems so unassuming when you look at it, but just the track list on here, I mean, it does set the mood. It lives up to its name. It's just so, so, so strong. The Moody Blues, Voices in the Sky, Various Artists, Moulin Rouge, Mumford & Sons, Sign No More, NSYNC, No Strings Attached, N-Dubs, Uncle B, N-Dubs, Timeless. Listen, I'm an unashamed N-Dubs fan, I'm not going to apologise for it, loved their stuff back in the day. We need the other two albums on vinyl, man, why stop at Uncle B? Let's get Against All Odds and Love Live Life on there. NWA, Straight Outta Compton, Nelly Furtado, Loose. Nina Cherry, Raw Like Sushi. Newton Faulkner, Human Love. This one was signed. I did go and see New Newton Faulkner with Rebecca a couple of years ago. He didn't sign it there and then. I think these were pre-signed. And amazingly, they, they were only selling these for like a tenner. It wasn't his latest album at the time. But really great to have it signed and in the collection. Nickelback, All The Right Reasons. Look, we all own one Nickelback album, okay? Nick Kershaw, Human Racing. Various artists, the best of northern tracks. Nothing but thieves, broken machine. Nothing but thieves, moral panic. Nothing but thieves, dead club city. I've really been enjoying Nothing But Thieves over the last few years, and Dead Club City is a great album, so I'll definitely be following what they do going forward. Olivia Dean, messy. This is one of the best albums of 2023, rightly uh, nominated at the Brits and some other awards as well. Olivia Dean is as such a great voice and a great style. Can't wait to see what she does next. Olivia Rodrigo, Sour. Olivia Rodrigo, Guts. Olivia Rodrigo surprised me. I didn't think I'd take to her at first, but I must admit, with both Sour and Guts, she's, she's not my socks off. Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark. Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark. Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark. Architecture and Morality. Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark. Sugar Tax. I am planning on getting more OMD albums, like these aren't just the only ones I like. I'm gradually going through the back catalogue and listening to them. I actually quite like their latest one. Pale Waves, Who Am I? Paul McCartney, All The Best. Paul Robeson, The Best Of. A very old-time artist, but one with a very rich voice and one that I could not listen to enough. Paul Young, No Parley. Paul Young, The Secret Of Association. Pendulum, Hold Your Colour. Pet Shop Boys, please. You know this ain't going to be the only Pet Shop Boys album, so brace yourself. Pet Shop Boys, actually. Pet Shop Boys, introspective. Pet Shop Boys, behavior. Pet Shop Boys, very. Pet Shop Boys, bilingual. Pet Shop Boys, nightlife. Pet Shop Boys, release. Pet Shop Boys, fundamental. Pet Shop Boys, yes. Pet Shop Boys, Elysium. Pet Shop Boys, electric. Pet Shop Boys, super. Pet Shop Boys, Hotspot. 
But of course, their latest album is coming out very, very soon, the time I'm recording this. Uh, nonetheless, Pet Shop Boys Smash, beautiful box set, did a full review on that as well. Pet Shop Boys Disco, Pet Shop Boys Relentless. Great to see this get a standalone release for its 30th anniversary. Highly recommend, especially if you're into the more dance-heavy stuff of the Pet Shop Boys. Peter Capaldi, St. Christopher. Yes, you heard me right. That is Peter Capaldi, the 12th Doctor himself, made an album. There was a very limited run on vinyl, and I was very lucky to get a copy. Surprisingly, it's a very good album. I, I genuinely hope he makes more music. Peter Gabriel, So. Phantom of the Opera, the original soundtrack. Phil Collins, Hello, I Must Be Going. Phil Collins, No Jacket Required. Phil Collins, But Seriously? Probably my favourite Phil Collins album, this one. Just such a strong track list from start to finish. Various artists, Philadelphia, music from the motion picture. Pink Floyd, Piper at the Gates of Dawn. Pink Floyd, Atom Heart Mother. Pink Floyd, Medal. Pink Floyd, The Dark Side of the Moon. Pink Floyd, Wish You Were Here. Pink Floyd, The Wall. Pink Floyd, The Final Cut. Pink Floyd, A Momentary Lapse of Reason. As you can see, I've got a fair bit of Pink Floyd, but... Again, like with other artists, I've gone through the catalogue, I've picked and chosen what which albums I like. Some I prefer more than others, obviously the ones you see here. I do need to get the Division Bell, though. Pink Floyd, Relics, Plan B, The Defamation of Strickland Banks. This was a big cornerstone album for me back in my teenage years. Loved this style that Plan B went for, loved this whole album, the concepts, everything about it was great. Plan B, Heaven Before All Hell Breaks Loose. The Pointer Sisters, Jump, The Best Of. The Police, Every Breath You Take, The Singles. Prince and the Revolution, Purple Rain. Princess, Princess. Queen, Queen. Queen, Queen 2. Queen, Sheer Heart Attack. Queen, A Night at the Opera. Queen, A Day at the Races. Queen, News of the World. Queen, Jazz. Queen, The Game. Queen, Hot Space. Queen, The Works. Queen, A Kind of Magic. Queen, The Miracle, Queen, Innuendo. As you could probably tell by all that, really big Queen fan as well. Innuendo in particular is a favourite of mine. Really great album. The last one they did when Freddy was alive. Queen, Made in Heaven. Queen, Greatest Hits. Queen, Greatest Hits 2. Quincy Jones, The Dude. Ray, 21st Century Blues. This is our Brit Award winner recently for Best Album. She broke a ton of records, and uh, I would recommend it. It's a very strong album. Rick Astley, Whenever You Need Somebody. Rick Astley, Hold Me In Your Arms. Rick Astley, The Best Of Me. Rihanna, Good Girl Gone Bad. Rihanna, Rated R. Rihanna, Loud. Rihanna, Talk That Talk. Rihanna, Unapologetic. All you Rihanna stands might be like, Where's Auntie? Why does he not have Auntie? I'm going to be honest, when that came out back in the day, I did not like Anti at all, especially compared to, like, reused Passwork. Like, it might just be personal preference, and a lot of people say Anti's a masterpiece, but it ain't for me. Robert Miles, Dreamland. Various Artists, Rocky IV, the original motion picture soundtrack. Romy, Midair. S Club 7, Sunshine. Sade, Diamond Life. Sam Cooke, The Man and His Music. Sam Fender, Hypersonic Missiles. Sam Fender, 17 Going Under. Sam Ryder, There's Nothing But Space, Man. Samantha Fox, Touch Me. Samantha Fox, Samantha Fox. Samantha Fox, I Wanna Have Some Fun. Sandy Shaw, Puppet on a String. Various Artists, Saturday Night Fever, the original motion picture soundtrack. Seal, Seal. The Searchers, Silver Searchers. The Seekers, The Very Best Of. The Shadows, Greatest Hits. Silk Sonic, an Evening with Silk Sonic, Simon and Garfunkel, 17 of their all-time greatest recordings, Simply Red, A New Flame, Simply Red, Stars, Sinead O'Connor, I Do Not Want What I Haven't Got, Sunita, Sunita, Snap, World Power, Snap, The Madman's Return, Love a bit of Snap, and this album in particular contains the song that probably soundtracks my life the most, which is of course Rhythm is a Dancer, the Snowman, an original audiobook recording. Sonia, Everybody Knows. Spandau Ballet, True. Spandau Ballet, Through the Barricades. Spice Girls, Spice. Spice Girls, Spice World. Spice Girls, Forever. Steps, Step One. Steps, Steptacular. Steps, Buzz. 
The first three Steps albums were recently put onto vinyl and I'm so glad they have because those were some of the earliest big pop hits of my childhood. They're very like late 90s, early 2000s, but they're great to have on vinyl. Steps, Tears on the Dance Floor. Steps, What the Future Holds. Steps, What the Future Holds, Part 2. Steve Wilson, The Harmony Codex. Stevie Wonder, For Once in My Life. Stevie Wonder, Songs in the Key of Life. Stevie Wonder, Looking Back. Stock, Aitken and Waterman, The Hit Factory. Stock, Aitken and Waterman, The Hit Factory 2. Stock, Aitken Waterman, The Hit Factory 3. Stock, Aitken Waterman, The Best Of, A Ton of Hits, or Hit Factory Volume 4. Stock, Aitken Waterman, PWL, Extended, Big Hits and Surprises, Volume 1. Doc Aitken Waterman, PWL Extended, Big Hits and Surprises, Volume 2. Super Tramp, The Autobiography of. Various Artists, Tarzan, The Original Motion Picture Soundtrack. Taylor Dane, Tell It To My Heart. The Stone Roses, The Stone Roses. Stormzy, Gang Signs and Prayer. Stormzy, Heavy Is The Head. Stormzy, This Is What I Mean. Scissor, SOS. This has been one of my favourite albums of the last year as well, and by a lot of people too, Scissor is just a powerhouse, and I definitely need to look into maybe getting that debut album, Control. Tapau, Bridge of Spies. Talk Talk, Natural History, the very best of. Taylor Swift, 1989, Taylor's version. I did used to own the regular version of 1989 on vinyl, but I've been a big fan and supporter of what Taylor's been doing with their back catalogue, and having listened to it, it's just phenomenal, so I need to work around getting some of the others too. Taylor Swift, Reputation. Taylor Swift, Lover. Taylor Swift, Evermore. Taylor Swift, Midnights. Tears for Fears, Songs from the Big Chair. Another one of my genuinely favourite albums of all time, just a phenomenal record from these two back in the mid 80s, just hit hit after hit. And even their songs that weren't singles are just phenomenal. So I definitely recommend listening to this. Tears for Fears, The Tipping Point. Various Artists, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, music from the film. Brad Fidel, Terminator 2 Judgment Day, the original soundtrack recording. This is my favorite movie of all time, in case some of you didn't know, so to have the soundtrack is really special. I do need to get the soundtrack to the first Terminator though. I'd argue the actual soundtrack, the score of that first film, is maybe a tad better than the second. Terence Trent Darby, with introducing the hard line according to. Various artists, that'll be the day. Thomas Dolby, The Golden Age of Wireless. Thomas Dolby, The Flat Earth. Tiffany, Tiffany. Tiffany, Hold an Old Friend's Hand. Tight Fit, Tight Fit. Tina Turner, Private Dancer. Tamita, Snowflakes Are Dancing. Tom Jones, The Tom Jones Album. Various Artists, Top Gun, The Original Motion Picture Soundtrack. Toto, Toto 4. Tracy Chapman, Tracy Chapman. U2, The Joshua Tree. Ultravox, The Collection, Usher, Coming Home. This is Usher's most recently released album at the time of making this, and it's just great. I feel this is what the new Justin Timberlake album was trying to do and trying to achieve, but Usher just, for me at least, knocks it out of the park a whole lot more. Vera Lynn, Hits of the Blitz. Village People, Go West. Visage, Visage. The Weekend, Starboy. The Weekend, After Hours. The Weekend, Dawn FM. Weezer, The Teal Album. This was another Record Store Day 2019 release I got alongside Chase and Status' No More Idols album. And the Teal album is a covers album. It's Weezer covering many different songs, but some of these versions are just incredible. Like Africa is one that stands out, Sweet Dreams. It's just, it's wonderful. And again, to have the chance to own it on vinyl is really cool. Wham, the final. Harry Connick Jr., When Harry Met Sally, the original soundtrack. Wigfield. Wigfield 1 and 2. So happy this got a release. This was put out by Plastic Pop, I believe the label is. And, th- you know, without labels like this, this would have never got a vinyl pressing. The first two Wigfield albums, I think some of the sequencing's a bit weird compared to, like, what the track list says on the, on the box, as it were, and then how it's played out. But that doesn't matter. All the tracks are still there. And it's just, this is 90s Eurodance cheese to the max. Whitesnake, Whitesnake. Whitney Houston, Whitney Houston, Whitney Houston, Whitney, Whitney Houston, I'm your baby tonight, Yazoo, upstairs at Eric's, Yazoo, you and me both, Yaz, wanted, various artists, the classical collection, various artists, the Motown story, various artists, the swinging 60s, 
the Reader's Digest Mood Music for Listening and Relaxation. Now that's what I call Music Volume 1. The original, of course, I've had this for 10 years now, which is crazy to think I've had it that long, but it's a bit battered, but you know, uh, how can you not love the original now, no matter how your copy is? Now that's what I call Music 2. Now that's what I call Music 3. Now 4. Now 5. Now 6. Now 7. Now 8. Now 9. Now 10. Now 11. Now 12. Now 13. Now 14. Now 15. Now 16. Now 17. This, I'd argue, is probably one of my favorite early nows. Like, just the track list on this, especially the original vinyl, is phenomenal. I'm so gutted that as they're reissuing this on CD, that some of those big tracks aren't going to be there, like Depeche Mode or the, um, like, Dub Be Good To Me is not on there and Phil Collins and all that sort of stuff. But this, this original release and track listing, top dollar. Now 18. Now 19. Now 20. Now 21. Now 22, now 23, now 24, now 25, now 26, now 27, now 28, now 29, now 30, now 31, now 32, now 33. 33 is the most high number I've got of nows on vinyl. I know I've still got 34 and 35 to get you won't believe how many occasions those two have slipped out of my grasp rather frustratingly but i'm hoping one day they'll be able to join the collection too now the christmas album now the summer album now dance now dance 86 now dance 89 now dance 901 now dance 902 now dance 903 now dance 91 now dance 92 now dance 94 volume 1 and would you believe it does stop there, because as far as I know, Volume 2 never came out on vinyl. Now Yearbook 73, now Yearbook 78, now Yearbook 79, now Yearbook 80, now Yearbook 81, now Yearbook 82, now Yearbook 83, now Yearbook 84, now Yearbook 85, now Yearbook 86, now Yearbook 88, now Yearbook 90, now Yearbook 92, now Millennium, 2000 to 2001, now Millennium 2002 to 2003, now Millennium 2004 to 2005, now Yearbook 80 to 84, the final chapter, now that's what I call Christmas, now that's what I call 60s pop. This is one of the few like genreed vinyl releases I still have. I used to collect them all, but some of them I just think were a bit superfluous to requirements, at least for my collection. Like I either had them on other records or I just, you know, weren't that into them looking back. So I've slimmed down the now spin off vinyls quite a lot, mainly just sticking to the main numbered series, the yearbooks, the early dance series, etc. But 60s pop stood out to me. It's a solid release. Now presents the 70s, now presents Eurovision Song Contest. This has to be, obviously, one of the best box sets now I've ever made. I'm a big Eurovision fan, so this 5LP set here containing so much is just an absolute win. Now yearbook 80 to 84 vinyl extra. Woo, that was everything. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. If you've made it all the way to the end, well done. First and foremost, very well done. But I hope going through this has maybe uh, entertained you or inspired you to go out and collect some of these albums for yourself. The way I got them was a mixture. A lot of it in the early days was from car boot sales, vintage shops, charity shops even. As time's gone on and vinyls become more mainstream again, a lot of the newer albums I've been able to acquire new from places like HMV. And I'm so glad of the boom places like HMV, as well as all the independent record stores have had from the vinyl revival. So I ain't going to stop collecting vinyl anytime soon. I just, I adore the music. I adore the format. I enjoy the collection aspect of it. There's just too much to love for me to give it up. So if you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like. It really helps us out. Let me know in the comments as well. What did you think of my vinyl collection? Were there some surprises you didn't expect to see in there? Are there some that you feel are glaringly obvious that I don't have? Subscribe as well if you're brand new. I've been thinking of doing some more collection updates, maybe on my uh, DVD Blu-ray collection, for example, amongst other things. But in the meantime, I've been Adam Martin from AMTV. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Thank you to our patrons for helping to support the show, and a special thank you to Macra, Ethan Carberry Holt, Bruce Danton, Globe of Reviews, Derek Chambers, Sean Nock, Dord Khan, Liam Demain, Trev Hughes, AJ Mac 200017, Deck KP20, Simon Harrison, Evan Hart38, and Jen, our AMTV staff members.